Hey there survivors, how's it going? I'm Virtual Survivor, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, playing on the official PvP Ark Apocalypse servers. If you enjoy the episode, please drop a sub and a like to help the channel grow. Well, somehow, still haven't been raided on Valgero. My little pillbox bases got blew up on Crystal Isles, the RAF base got destroyed, uh, but I haven't been back to Extinction yet, so I don't know if my bases still are right there. I'll have to pop back there soon. It's looking pretty clear. Right, let's get a little bit of cement in paste. I think I'll just grab one dam for now. Hopefully it'll give me a couple of hundred. That should sort me for crafting a good few things. No beavers nearby. Bro. Got away without being bitten. That's always nice. <laughs> Goodies of the red drop got for me. Ah, nothing special. That would have been better if it was the actual uh, remote itself, not the blueprint. But, oh well, I'll be making some C4 soon. Come on, give me something good. I'll take the flashlight, I guess. I'm going to go put a little base together nearish to me in a sort of hiddenish place just so I can set up a fabricator because I kind of messed up the positioning of my base and I can't really fit a fabricator in properly. Right, finally got a fabricator up. This should hopefully be alright. Yeah, I'll drop some of the basic stuff off. Well, hopefully this little base stays untouched anyway. <laughs> it's got basically nothing in it, but uh, my other little crevice hasn't been touched for over a week now I built that. That's why I'm so surprised I haven't been raided yet. These servers are so hostile. <laughs> right, let's get a bit of metal smelting. Because you need metal for almost everything. This cave isn't too bad as well, especially with the wyvern, because the wyvern flies so fast compared to most other things. I haven't seen anybody come for drops up this region. What have we got? Oh my god, I just realised I wasn't recording. I got this bloke on a manor after me. He just like tried to freeze while he froze me and he took about half my health down. Let's wait down here for now. But god damn. Don't know what level that thing was. Blood Wyvern's uh, special attack does actually heal him quite quickly as well when he drains the blood. It's not too bad, especially when you hit multiple enemies at the same time. I'll definitely have to go back to Crystal Isles and get um, another Wyvern or two. Hopefully higher levels. But I don't know if I can be bothered to knock out a Wyvern for Prime Crystals, so... We'll see. <laughs> right, well I think the guy on the manor's gone anyway, I can't see him around this area anymore. I did see someone on a wyvern, I'm not sure if he was in the same tribe. But, oh well. <laughs> right, what do I need to make a long neck? Or more likely the ammo. Cool, I'll do another metal run. And let's get some... Gunpowder on the go. Well, I've found that I can actually put the fabricator in. The only reason I couldn't, which you'll see now, 
um, was because the sloped wall... Oh, forgot, let's put that the other way around a minute. Uh, the sloped wall that's like towards the front, uh, you couldn't snap the wall there if the sloped wall was there. So you got to put the wall first here, like after the fabricator, and then put the sloped uh, ceiling in. I mean, not wall. <laughs> and there. And then I could put the ceilings on top. So let's just go and do that. And voila! Le Fabricator! Oh yeah, because I forgot to say, uh, the little base that I set up nearish to here with the Fabricator in it has been raided already. <laughs> Insane. So uh, yeah, I kind of needed to make a Fabricator here, especially if the base hasn't been touched yet. Perfect. Right, well that's brill. I got practically everything I need. I don't even think I'm going to make a generator and turrets and stuff. For a starter, they just attract attention. And I thought there was a base up in this top corner, but... Well, if there was, it looks like it's been raided. But, uh, yeah, it just looks like a couple of dino traps. It's kind of a shame because it's got rid of a bunch of the metal spawns, which would be handy because I am on this cliff area. Let's get a couple of these nodes anyway. Right, i got to get to work, so I'm going to upload the wyvern to the obelisk and come back later. Wow. Well, uh, if this isn't a wild card moment for you. <laughs> I died somehow, like, I don't know, five or ten minutes before I even logged in. I don't even know how that's possible. I didn't get killed by anything, I was just killed. I had good health, food and water, I'm pretty sure, before I logged off earlier. So, oh well. Nice one, wild cards, and I can't even get my bags, it's right under the ground. Just waiting for this metal to smelt and food to cook now. So I need to make some weapons and some explosives soon. And need a lot of uh, charcoal for gunpowder too. Alright, let's make the long neck, and just need the gunpowder for the ammo. I think that'll be fine for now, don't really need that much. God, 40 metal for a scope. That's expensive. <laughs> it was just a shame I had to use my metal to make a new flak armour and a couple of other things earlier when I got killed unexpectedly by wildcard before I even logged on. Oh well, that is arc life. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Oh hello. Someone's got a cheeky little pillbox for the Pteranodon. Well, I'm going to make some C4 shortly, so I think I might just come and blow it up with one. And then kill the Pteranodon, see if it's got anything on it. I'm surprised they didn't cryopod it, especially if they were just... Uh, ...putting themselves in a pillbox. Right, let's get this drop then. Yeah, a lot of the time I just leave little one by one pillboxes alone, but he's reasonably near my base, so. Yeah, can't have that. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some crystal. Oh. That would have been funny if it gave me an actual scope after I just crafted one. That would have been typical arc. Smithy down here. Let's have a look if it's got anything in it, actually. Just some metal ingots. Right, let's get this crystal. 
because then we can make some C4. Oh, I need to get some polymer as well, don't I? I might actually go a bit, get a, a bit more cement and paste as well. Because I think I've only got another 100 or so in the smithy. And cement and paste is one of those things you need for nearly everything <laughs> late game as well. Well, mid to late game. Not that I'm in late game yet at all. <laughs> now we've still got some room. Let's fill them up with as much as we can. Well, server's surprisingly quiet. There was like 30 people on when I joined. Oh, here's a guy's few foundations that he thinks he can hide behind a harvestable rock. <laughs> if you want to hide your belt base from certain angles, always build it against actual terrain. Not harvestable rocks. Because harvestable rocks load in with the draw distance. And terrain doesn't. So yeah, that's why I like to try and find a nice cheeky crevice somewhere. There's just no bases around here. Well, somebody started building on this uh, Beaver Dam Island anyway. I can only see this one dam at the moment. There's probably some underwater, but oh well. Bit of cement and paste will do me anyway. No oh, way, yeah, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> Right, and let's just go get some poly. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful cluster of penguins, isn't it? <laughs> it's a shame they weren't in the middle of the uh, iceberg. But that should be plenty of polymer for now. Oosh, I'm heavy. Right, come on purple, give me something good. I find they give me better things normally than the reds and the yellows on. Hey, the wyvern, just out of crystal. Ooh, a pretty decent pteranodon saddle blueprint. Awesome. I wonder if the wyverns can heal by eating crystals too. Right, let's uh, make some explosives. I do have quite a few electronics as well from just killing uh, tech dinos. So might be able to get a bit of a more hidden and more protected base on the go soon. We'll see. Because I think I've already got enough electronics for four turrets. But I don't want to make turrets yet, especially with a little base like this. Right, I got plenty. Totally forgot to turn that on. Need some gasoline. Awesome. I'll put the rest in the smithy. And then just use one on the fabricator. Oh yeah, I got plenty for the uh, detonator as well. Awesome. Oh. Server lag. I thought it was uh, not crafting them for some reason. Actually, let's make another one just in case. I don't know what kind of just in case there is with a little stone pillbox, but uh, just in case. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there it is. I'm assuming there's Pteranodons on passive. It's not a super high level, but it's a 211, I think. So I'm assuming they're reasonably experienced players. Let's get rid of this sleeping bag. Can you not pickaxe sleeping bags? Oh well, let's just uh, munch it with the wyvern. I 
I swore you could pickaxe sleeping bags. Or do you have to use like a pike or something like that? Well, that's done it. <laughs> right, let's blow this up. Hopefully there's someone or a box with some good loot in there or something. Tyranitons on passive anyway. No, just a primitive saddle. Tyranodon didn't have anything on him. And he doesn't really have much on him either. Oh well, I'll take all his little bits. Eh, yeah, it wasn't really worth the C4, but like I said, because he was reasonably near to where I'm posted, I uh, can't really have that, so I need to needed to wipe him anyway. Well, I was just about to log off for the night, and a uh, 156 Tech Raptor literally just fell behind my base, so I'm going to knock him out. Oh, he had to turn away from me, didn't he? I wanted to get the headshot. It's just going to take more arrows now. Right, well, on these server rates anyway, a few primes should do it. Let's find another Diplo and uh, that should be more than enough Prime. Oh, easy. He's going to tame now. Oh, wow. Before I could even try and place a flipping ladder. <laughs> Let's chuck you in the cryopod. Level 233. Nice. Yep, take that. And let's build a ladder out here. It's obstructed. God damn it. Oh well. I got grapples on me anyway. Nope, I don't think that was high enough. Nope, not quite. Oh, I couldn't edge forward. That's just a aim up on that corner. And drop. Ooh. All right, well, I've still got quite a bit of polymer left, so I should definitely make some canteens and probably some more C4 if I can as well. Well, of course I can, just probably need some more gunpowder. Make as much C4 as we can first. Hmm, shall we make a pump? Yeah, I think I'll make a pump as well. Okay, are we all clear? Yep, yeah, roll. Right, let's upload my wyvern and my raptor and some cryopods. What's hitting me? Oh, bloody compies. <laughs> I thought I was being hit, but I wasn't moving. Guess it was a good job it wasn't the Diplo. Alright, let's get back to base and log off. Oop, I forgot to see what was in the drop, actually. Ah, may as well take them. Alright, let's try and get back to base now before it gets too dark. Then I come across any true dons. Alright, survivors, I'm going to wrap up the episode there anyway. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and a sub, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Peace.